everyone. Today's video is going to be all about Ikea, the best buys. I recently went to Ikea with the whole family. The kids made it a little bit stressful to say the least. So I would have loved to have done an Ikea shop with me, but like the experience was stressful enough just trying to get round, pick stuff out that was actually useful and keep the kids in line without then adding in filming to the mix like sometimes you just can't do it like you know you have to put life first <laughs> uh, so i'm doing a show around of my home of all my favorite ikea bits that i have picked up recently and there's also some that are a little bit older um like the last couple of years but ones that i would buy again and again and again so yeah it's a mixture of old and new bits but i think everything that is going to be on the video still very much available in store like they don't exactly do huge clear outs of the best sellers do they like the best sellers are just there for years and years for example prime example the chair that i'm sitting on now the poang poang chair is that how you pronounce it um i think there is not a house in the land that does not have this chair in I bought it as a nursing chair for my first child, still got it now, it has stood the test of time, easy to clean the fabric, easy to clean the wood, just giving it a quick wipe, um, I just love it and it is so comfy, so comfy, um, yeah so we'll call that item number one. I had such a good time at Ikea um, this time I went, now often I go and I find like oh my god I'm so overwhelmed. I, there's so much here I'm like not seeing the individual things but I realized we went on a Friday this time and I normally go at weekends and at weekends you know when you walk around the showroom you just kind of get swept along like in the current of um, the huge crowds of people and so it's kind of impossible to really just stop have a look at everything and really think about what own not only what you think looks good but also how you could adapt it for your own home so we went on a Friday morning and it was dead and it was amazing so first of all if you struggle like me with ikea and like really being able to see things go in the week like i know that's not like possible for some people but i have to say i just i find the um, the weekends like pretty much unbearable like i will only go back at a weekend now if i specifically know what i'm picking up i just won't bother so yeah Anyway, in this video I'm going to be talking about my absolute favourite Ikea finds. I'll tell you the ones that uh, that I got like literally just a few days ago versus the ones that I've had for a while and some of the things that I've repurposed which I'm really, really pleased with. So hopefully you'll find a few bits and find a bit of inspiration for how to use some Ikea buys in your own home. So we're starting off with these shelves which I'm so proud of. So these are a recent purchase got them just a few days ago basically they are spice racks they're intended to be spice racks but I think most people buy them and use them for pretty much whatever they need so I've used them in my eldest daughter's room I've got some others in my youngest daughter's room which I'll show you in just a second but what I did was I simply got them built them I got some paint from B&Q um, just some painters touch I think it's called paint that was suitable for wood i didn't even prime the wood i was like i'm just going to spray it on i'm going for the easiest route possible sprayed the paint on left it to dry and then just hung them up um i've seen some really really cool ways that people have sprayed and painted and decorated theirs on pinterest so for example some people just paint the bar which actually looks really cool especially if you do it in like really cute pastel colors that looks beautiful for a child's room some people get a bit of masking tape and kind of do a diagonal line on the bar and so have just like painted the bar like a little bit white that looks really cool as well so really let your imagination just run wild with how you might decorate yours i am currently using ours for knickknacks and pictures and I, I just I just think they're so great and they're super easy to hang as well I'm going to show you the ones in my youngest daughter's room as well but just we'll just step back and take a bit of a closer look at these so there's one that's in my daughter's room my youngest daughter's room just makes this corner look really pretty I think 
and then I've put another one up here this is actually a night light this is not from Ikea to show you so look that's actually a night light it's quite sweet it's not a very bright one um, it's on a timer but I think that's quite nice Again, like I haven't used them for practical uses, could be so good for toys or for books. Like for example, if you have a slightly older child that you trust not to try and climb on the shelf, you could put it as a kind of like almost a bedside table where they have a little nightlight and a few of their favourite books, maybe. Just throwing that out there. The possibilities are endless. The other thing you could do is flip it hang it the other way around so it doesn't have to be hung this way around hang it the other way around and then you could put things on top of the shelf and get hangers and hang clothes off of that so my next ikea best buy is this gorgeous Raxog trolley you've seen this before on my channel if you've been watching my channel for a while i've raved about it i just think it's fantastic when i was at ikea the other day i bought some more of these pots because they're just so great. Honestly, if you do buy this trolley, buy as many of these little storage pots as you can because look, there's room to put them on every single level. So I've got one here with hair straighteners, one here's got my makeup brushes in, one here's just got a hair brush in so it's handy, nail varnish remover and lip balm, little bit, it's got a comb there that desperately needs the hair all pulling out of it. Got this spray that I use on my hair every day. So, you know, it's really useful. These little baskets here are from Primark and this caddy with my makeup in is from Lakeland. I've also got one of these rack socks downstairs in the kitchen. I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so here's my kitchen rack sog trolley. On the bottom here I've got flour and sugar, so baking stuff. In the middle I've got pasta and rice and up here I've got tins. I've also got a sneaky pack of spaghetti because it wouldn't fit on the middle rack. Got some of these pots here as well. I bought some extra pots the other day. So one has got like all my like clips that I use for rice and packets like that. Not sure what I'm going to put in those yet, but basically I use these pots for the things that I need to immediately get to. I really should have bought some more because look, I could get another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on there. So next time I go I might get some more. Um, the Raxog trolley is not particularly cheap, it's about £60, but I would say it's worth it, it holds a lot of stuff. So obviously I'm using one for my makeup and beauty products, I'm using one in the kitchen. You could use them for cleaning supplies, you could use them for your kids' arts and crafts. So many possible uses for it. Um, they don't come in that many colours, Hobbycraft does a pretty much identical one which does come in loads of different colours like pink, rose gold, all sorts. So that's worth bearing in mind and also the Hobbycraft one is cheaper. So my next IKEA Best Buy is this gorgeous railing. I actually wish I'd bought a few more of these. So at the moment I've just got some fake plants, these are IKEA too, these ones, on either side. What I actually think I'm going to do is get some fresh herbs from the supermarket, like ones that I use most regularly, so rosemary, basil, maybe some thyme, and keep those in there. But the sky's kind of the limit for what you can use these for. Like, you don't have to have the pots, which are from IKEA as well. You could just use the hooks and put your kitchen utensils on there so you know spatulas and spoons that kind of thing you could have it in your bedroom and use the pots to put like your makeup and stuff in it's a really good space saver and um, doesn't take up much space at all very very easy to put up i kind of wish i'd got a second one because i'd quite like to maybe get rid of this clock and have a second one above it but i i just think they're so versatile you can get them you can get longer versions of it this is the very shortest version you can get longer versions of it and you can also get different um, pots to hang on there's a longer pot there's little baskets that you could hang on there there's so many different options as i said really really easy to hang up really really good for storage in very very tight spaces okay so my next ikea best buy we're now in the conservatory which is the children's domain i got these little magazine boxes what i'm going to do guys is because i'm not going to make an idiot of myself and try and pronounce all of the um, ikea names for things i am going to list everything below 
so that it's easy for you to find if you see anything you like. So these magazine boxes here, they came in packs of two and I got two lots of two. So with these two, I'm using them for the girls' paper and stickers. And as you can see, I've placed it next to their little craft table where they sit. So that's just kept it organized better because it was just stacked up in a big messy pile. This box, this is an Ikea box. I thought, God, I'm so sick of pens and pencils, trying to cram them into little parts. So I thought, I'm just gonna use this huge box, put all the pens, pencils and crayons, and then I can just literally throw them in there. I've got another one of the magazine holders over here. And what I'm using that for is puzzles. These sort of upright, um, I'm gonna store them upright, these kind of wooden board puzzles. It's just a much nicer way of storing it, I think. Keeps it much neater rather than piling it up and it keeps the pieces together as well. These pink frames cost £1.75 each. I removed the backing and the clear plastic and I got a glue gun and glued these clothes pegs to the front and then I've just hung them on the wall and they're great for displaying the kids artwork and what it means is I can change it around as often as I like it's really easy to change the artwork swap it for whatever the kids have done that week and I think it looks really sweet actually it's a really nice way to display what they've done at nursery that day Okay, so next up I've got this lovely drawer unit, which at the moment it's housing all of the girls' Sylvanian family stuff. You can fit so much in these boxes that slide out. I've got another one in, well, another two in each of the girls' wardrobes, which has their clothes in. But I use the shallower trays for that, I'll show you in a second. But yeah, it's a really great way of organising toys. It's really cheap. Again, I will list it below and pop a link in for you so you can find it for yourself. But it's easy to construct, doesn't take up too much space. You can get various different versions of this. You can get slightly taller ones. You can get ones where um, you've got several sections to it. So it's kind of up to you and how much space you've got. But I do really recommend it. As I said, these drawers are nice and deep and hold quite a lot in. It's great for toy storage. So I also recently picked up this really cute little soap dispenser here and little toothbrush holder here. Got one in the downstairs bathroom as well. It just really sort of neatens things up a bit, I think. And I've got another one of the magazine holders right here, which I'm just using in our bedroom to store all of my paperwork that I need to be working on this week. Any letters that I've got to work on, that kind of thing. Such a pretty colour. I just love the pattern on there. It's really gorgeous. So you've seen the larger version of this downstairs in the conservatory. You can get smaller ones of this. I actually think it comes even smaller as well. There's various different sizes. I love these boxes because they're really sturdy. I'm using this one just to hold a few electrical items and I just pop it on the shelf underneath my bedside table and it just keeps it a bit neater. Okay guys, those are my favourite IKEA products at the moment. I really hope you found something that might be useful to you. Thank you so much for watching guys. Take care. Bye.